Hey, what's the deal with Instagram Reels? That's right, Instagram Reels is here. Say goodbye to TikTok. There's a lot of buzz and excitement going around all about Instagram Reels, but there's also some mompreneurs who are majorly overwhelmed and just confused on what to do. This episode is going to talk about what they are, how to make your first reel, what to focus on, and the simple do's and don'ts. Speaking of Instagram, are you overwhelmed and feel like it's just too much work? Are you trying to mimic what others are doing? Are you stuck on your branding and your messaging? Guess what, ladies? I can help you. Get ready to have an Instagram clarity breakthrough. Let's clarify your Instagram message together. Let's clarify your brand and objectives together. And let's plan out an Instagram strategy so you can show up consistently and with confidence on the gram. Book your strategy call now at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash I-G method. No more guesswork, mamas. Say hello to clarity and Instagram success. Now, let's dive into Instagram Reels. Hey there, mom boss. Welcome to the Social Media for Mompreneurs podcast, where we dive into personal branding, how to build our businesses on social media, learn some really cool marketing hacks, all while balancing family life. And don't forget, we do it the fun and easy way. I'm Allison Scholes, once a corporate marketing coordinator, a teacher, and now photographer and podcaster. And yes, I'm that boss lady in sweatpants. Go ahead and hand out the kids' tablets, open those juice boxes, put on your comfy sweatpants, and hide in your closet. Let's get this party started. Hey everyone, how are you? All right, I'm jumping on today to talk about the deal with Instagram Reel. So I am going to be covering pretty quickly four main points. Number one, what they are. Number two, how to make your first Instagram Reel. Number three, what to focus on when you're making a Reel. And then the do's and don'ts when it comes to Instagram Reels. All right, so number one, why did Instagram release Instagram Reels, I think it's pretty obvious because of the controversy with TikTok. Now, Instagram Reels is really similar to TikTok. It is a quick 15-second clip, and it is meant to be quick, entertaining, to add music, to add text. Now, it does have its own separate news feed, so when you go to your profile, you see your post news feed. You also see your IGTV news feed. And now you will see your Reels news feed in there. All right, so quickly, how to make an Instagram Reel. Just the same way as you would go to do an Instagram story to add a story. So you're gonna click on your profile picture and at the bottom, you're gonna see live story or Reels. So you're going to click on Reels, and this is when you are able to either record and create your video right in the app, or you can upload an existing video. Now remember, you only have 15 seconds, okay? So you're going to do your quick 15-second video, and I will tell you, you are able to record and stop and then change positions change, you know, camera angles, change your environment, change your outfit, whatever you want to do, and then click record again, and then stop it all the way up to 15 seconds. It will cut you off at 15 seconds. Then what you can do is you can add text, you can add filters, and you can also add music. So that is like the real quick way of adding your first Instagram reel. I will be doing a demo. The demo is coming soon, so no worries on that. Now, what to focus on in Instagram reels? I think a lot of people are spinning their wheels on, I only have 15 seconds, so what on earth am I going to put in my reel? Because compared to TikTok, TikTok allowed you up to one minute or 60 seconds. Now, I do think down the road, Once Instagram Reels catches on fire and everyone's doing them on Instagram and the viewership and engagement's really high, I would imagine that Instagram would roll out to up to one minute on the Reels. So there's really two main things that you should focus on 
when you are making a reel. It should be either entertaining or educational. So when it comes to entertaining, you can do funny skits or show behind the scenes. Those are really the two things to do. And the reason why is you want to be relatable to your audience. This is your moment really to be authentic and show your most authentic self in a funny way. It's just 15 seconds. So I think you can be funny for 15 seconds. It's really not all that hard. Secondly, you want to focus on educating your audience. So you can do this with quick tips, demos, how to's, but the most important thing you want to do is you want to make it simple and short when you're educating. You don't want to do something like a how to or a process that has way too many steps. It's very hard to teach that in 15 seconds, but you can teach something up to maybe three to five steps just do a quick 15 second video. And then within your caption, cause you can write captions for Instagram reels, you can go a little deeper and a little longer in the caption. The whole point is to grab your audience's attention in the reel. Once you hook them and you have their attention, either by educating or entertaining, they are going to read your caption. Now here's some do's and don'ts when it comes to Instagram Reels. You definitely want to post your Reel to your newsfeed. So when you go to publish your Reel, you have the option to share to your newsfeed. You definitely want to do that. Why? Because the viewership and the engagement is a lot higher when it's in your post newsfeed. And the algorithm loves to see the views and engagement so the algorithm will show it to more people. Now what's really cool about Instagram Reels is it's shown beyond who's following you, which is really cool. You can be discovered in the Explorer tab. So you definitely want to share it to your post newsfeed because once your followers are already engaging with it, the algorithm will pick that up and start showing it to people beyond your followers, and that's what you want. Secondly, you definitely wanna add a photo cover to your reel, just like you would in Instagram or IGTV, you have the option to add a cover photo. You wanna add a cover photo to your reel because number one, you don't want that weird um, freeze face because that's not going to draw in your audience or entice them. You want a catchy cover photo with your face and some sort of text of what they're going to get from that 15 second reel. All right, once you, once you post your reel and you share it to your newsfeed, what you wanna do is you wanna click on your reel and you wanna share it to your Instagram stories. Why? Because this adds more views to your reel, more engagement, and then the algorithm is going to love, love you for that. All right, here are some don'ts when it comes to Instagram reels. It's a lot of fun right now and people are having a blast with it, but I recommend that you don't post any more than two reels a day. Why? Well, you just don't want to annoy your audience because remember, they're there to learn from you and relate with you on Instagram and you're building relationships. You wanna nurture those relationships, but you also don't want to turn them away and you don't wanna annoy, annoy them with your 15 second reel. So just do two a day. Now, don't get overwhelmed with Instagram reels. Here's the deal. I want you to work it in when you can, okay? Just because everyone else out there is jumping on the Instagram reels bandwagon and they're not gonna out. And I will tell you, you're gonna see some great ones because those people were already on TikTok. And what they're doing is they're taking their existing TikTok videos and they're just repurposing them on Instagram Reels. Don't compare yourself to other people. Put your head down and you do you. You do not need to post an Instagram Reels every single day. I'm sprinkling them in and I'm only doing about three a week to see how it goes. But I will tell you, I am already seeing the engagement and the views exploding. I have way more views on my 15 second Instagram reels 
than I do in my Instagram story. So do you have, there is, <clears throat> excuse me, you have an opportunity to get discovered through Instagram Reels. So I highly recommend doing a couple, get your feet wet, and I will be doing an, in, an Instagram Reels demo soon. So there you have it. What Instagram Reels are, how to make one, what to focus on, and the do's and don'ts. Have a great day. Thank you for tuning in today. If you love today's episode, then please head over to iTunes, social media for mompreneurs, and leave a review. Your review helps grow the show. And don't forget, head to bossladyandsweatpants.com to grab all my freebies and hang out with me on Instagram at Allison Scholes. I'll see you soon.